Hello, happy choir members. This is the first of our um, workout with workout, Jean and Cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be this is going to be something different, y'all. It is, and this is your Lenten discipline, like I had in the email. I think that's a good thing to do. And then Absolutely. each one of these, you'll get one once a week. You'll get one, and it'll have two, maybe three exercises that you can do throughout the week, and then do another one. And I think this is really important because now we can start thinking about when we're going to come back to singing. And this way you can be singing at home and get your voice going again. We're not going to take you too far on the exercises. I'd like to keep everything in a pretty decent range. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of just sort of like oiling up the pipes. It's like you've had a, an Austin Healy. Well, how many people know what an Austin Healy is? It's like you've got an old Jaguar. Jaguar and you've got a Jaguar <laughs> in the garage and it hasn't been run for some time. So you've got to make sure that the oil is right and the pressure and you, there's a few. So this is what we're doing. We're just making sure that you're oiled well. <laughs> yeah. Well, the voice is a, it's a muscle. I mean, you're using mm -hmm. muscles. And so like any other muscle, if you haven't walked for weeks or right. run or swim or anything, it's going to be really needs it, it needs to be used so and yeah. it needs to get back into shape slowly so mm -hmm. we can't just go out and sing opera right right and i would encourage you while you're doing this so one of the things that really bothers me about warm-ups is when people just do piano players and organ players too just doing exercises for the sake of doing exercises new 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 what i want you to be doing is concentrating on the shapes concentrating on the feel of the vowels when you do your breathing Feel how it feels to fill up your body with air. Feel what it feels like to release it. And really focus on those things. Get rid of the cares of the day and just do your warm-up. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to limit this to about five minutes of stuff. First thing we're going to do is to review breathing. And I want everybody to, to, to stand. Stand tall. Put your hand down here on the bottom of your belly. And when you take in a deep breath, you gotta feel your belly coming out. See my hands move. Don't do this. If you're breathing like this, don't do this. As a matter of fact, stand in front of a mirror. Watch mm -hmm. yourself do that. Mm -hmm. And Make, keep the shoulders down. Yeah. Make sure you're breathing from here. And then the next thing we're gonna do, when you take in a nice deep breath, you're gonna let it out with a small hiss like a, like a balloon. So here we go, we're gonna breathe in. And now we're going to go And you don't have to wait until you've exhausted your air, but the reason why you do that a couple of times is to get the feeling of what the air should be feeling as you are producing sound when you're singing. You're not pushing the sound through like this. It's a nice, and, and so your whole throat should feel relaxed as that air is passing over the vocal cords. Okay, good. good. So, what's our first exercise? Uh, first exercise, are we doing lip trills? Let's do some lip trills. Okay, it's everybody's favorite. I know you can't do it. I know that sometimes I have to wet my lips to get them to go. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, here we are. If you can be like doing the, the, the little toy truck on the. Exactly. <laughs> if you can do that. And if you can't, here's a trick I learned. If you cannot do that, take two fingers, put them at the corners of your mouth and gently push them mm -hmm. together. Not full fish face, mm -hmm. but just enough to give yourself some relaxation. Yeah. And if anything, you'll have fun. Just don't drool on yourself. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Right, here we go. Lip drills. So the next thing we're going to do is another favorite one that I like to do, which is another down the fifth thing after you've done your lip trills. Um, it's just to sing my, 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 down, down the thing. And the, the reason, or the, the focus behind this, is to feel the sound focused right up here. With the M. With mm -hmm. the M. Mm -hmm. And also when you open the mouth to the ah, 
you should still feel that sound resonating right up here. So the M helps you push it forward and the AH does it here. And I want to demonstrate a couple of things too. This is one thing that I was doing when I was messing around this summer. It's amazing if you keep your mouth closed, you don't get much of a sound. If you open it up, all of a sudden the sound resonates a whole lot more and you aren't singing louder you're just opening it up. Yeah. So try to do that too when you're doing this exercise. And when you're working on the ah, hardest vowel ever to match, make sure that you've got the space in the back and you've got the space in the front. It should not only look like an ah, it should be an ah all the way back. So open And dropping that jaw helps get the back open. Yes. <laughs> something. Um, give me a D and I'm going to go Ma! okay and then watch this. Ma! I'm not singing louder but I'm opening the, 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 the So this is the first video and we hope that you do all these exercises and we hope that you start getting those voices back in shape because I got to tell you I'm excited about yeah. the possibility maybe even this fall of getting getting started again. So yeah. do them re regularly, religiously, you do your prayer and meditation in the morning, do this too. Five minutes, that's mm -hmm. all you need. Now this one was maybe a little longer. This might be well, tough. it was because we it's talked. Over. And we're still talking. Yeah. <laughs> because we can't right. stop talking. And Jean has a little surprise. It's something that came in the mail today. This is show and tell. This is show and tell. There are singer's masks out there on the market now. And there are two types which are designed by and for singers. And this one, I think, is, one of the, is the better of the two. This is the one that probably works the best. It's, it's got a, it has a frame, so it holds everything away from your face, mm -hmm. uh, so that when you breathe in, you're not sucking the mask in. Um, can you play the first phrase of six, all oh, got in it, and I'll demonstrate. It's doable. Anything else you want to say about this, Cliff? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they only come in one color. Good.